Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales, Paducah, Kentucky, on an absolutely phenomenal Kentucky afternoon. Hope you're having a great day. Renegade Classic. Volvo chassis, which you don't see a lot of, but I'm telling you, if you've ever drove one, you would buy one, okay? One of the smoothest riding, smoothest running, quietest, doesn't vibrate, just an all-around awesome truck. This is the Volvo VNR chassis. 500 horsepower D13 under the hood. Has the adaptive cruise, a lot of the new safety features that Volvo's putting in all the trucks. Um, this one also has a 20,000 pound steer axle, which is, is awesome. I mean, it just makes it where a, you know, you tow, um, your trailer makes your trailer tow better with the heavier GVWR on this unit. Uh, but 20,000 pound steer with dual steering boxes too. That's something I noticed when I was taking the photos earlier, over $120,000 in options. 90 something thousand dollars on the build sheet and options and thirty thousand dollars on this custom paint job uh you'll also notice something a little different or a little different about this coach is it has the stainless appearance package so the baggage doors are polished stainless around the base of it Forty thousand pound hitch um it's also got the hitch camera that's something i noticed it's a little different you don't see on all of them Got the Gen Y hitch, also has the connection for the um, trailer backup ca camera and has your glad hand fittings there too for your air ride or air brake trailer. Um, something I wanted to explain too, um, their Renegade has started sending the glad hands with a quick like an air chuck type fitting in one of them for uh, your tow brake system. So if you have Air Force One or something like that on a vehicle that you're towing behind the coach, uh, it's practically really just already pre-plumbed for it with that adapter so um that's included but i want to give you a quick pass around the exterior of the coach and uh here in just a moment i'm going to open up the storage boxes we'll go through those and um try to give you a good overview of the exterior and inside this one again 2023 model uh renegade classic quad slide i think just shy of 8,000 miles maybe 78 7900 uh, miles on it looks brand new. So uh, the uh, windows are also already tinted, something I just noticed while looking at it. Uh, the big uh, dual Gerard awnings runs full length of the um, the passenger side here. So stand by, going to take a quick pass through the storage boxes and then uh, we'll move right on into the interior. And if you need a uh, price on this coach, if you're interested, check out our website at chasecoach.com. Over 250 pictures um, and a full description. If it's on our website, it's still for sale. And uh, give us a call if you have any questions on it. Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales, Paducah, Kentucky. If you're in the market for a like new pre-owned motorhome or trailer, give us a call today or check us out at chasecoach.com. Lots of inventory in stock, normally something to fit every budget. Financing available, we deliver nationwide and we accept trade-ins too. I would love to earn your business. All right, so we'll make our way um, down the driver's side of the coach here. Uh, we'll start with the first compartment, and that's going to be where the DEF fluid is located. I know none of us like DEF, but just part of life, right? Next one back is going to be the controllers. Uh, this coach does have the dual Victron Energy 3000 watt inverters, and then you can also see the two little blue boxes up there to the right. Uh, this coach has six 175 watt solar panels uh, for a total of over a thousand watts of solar on board. Um, so that's a, a huge, huge plus uh, in my opinion on any new coach or even any older coach for that matter. The next two bays was the sewer base, 75 gallons of black uh, tank, 75 gallons of gray. As you can see the macerator hose there below. Uh, the next one bank's gonna be the wet bay. It's gonna have our handles for the black and gray tank. Uh, the blue filter up there on your left is your uh, like a whole house water filter. It also has uh, the powered uh, freshwater reel. You can see down there on the bottom right, 
Uh, you've got your low point drain in here and then your hose reel switch and your uh, flow jet, which is the macerator pump switch over there on the left. And again, I see it in most videos, but these are so simple to feel. You basically pull the hose out that's down there on the bottom right, connect it to your faucet, and the green handle there, if it's down the way it is now, in the current position that the handle's in now, you're filling the tank. It holds 150 gallons of fresh water, uh, which is going into the two tanks under the bed. If you raise the handle up, you're on city water, which city water means if you were using an outside uh, water source, like at a campground or a resort or heck, even at your house for that matter. Uh, this coach is also equipped with a black tank flush and it has your cable connection there. We'll make our way on around. 12.5 uh, and diesel generator, which is pretty standard on the Renegades. Uh, right at 50 hours on this one, uh, on the 12.5 Onan diesel generator. And again, that feeds off of the truck tank. So when you pull into the truck stop or gas station to get diesel, uh, you, get, uh, you fill one tank. It's 125 gallons right there under the driver's door. And that's what your generator is running on as well. And the last compartment here on the left rear of the coach, you've got the uh, powered transfer switch. you got the powered... Um, Shore power reel, I believe it's got a 30, maybe 35 foot cable. Uh, this coach already has the little adapter if you wanted to go from 50 amp down to 30. And one thing I want to note, it already has the 50 amp outlet. So if you were pulling a trailer that required power, even going down the road, you could go from your trailer that's back here through this little hole and up and plug your trailer in. And while, you know, basically it just makes it to where you're running one generator. You're running the generator on the coach and powering the trailer as well. As I mentioned earlier, 40,000 pound hitch. Uh, you've got your two inch receiver. Uh, there's a two and five sixteenths ball that comes with it. And there's a piece that turns that into a pintle hitch. All included, it's all, all comes with it. Um, every compartment on this one has been bed lined or rhino lined. As you can see, it's kind of a, a textured gray color. Um, I like that option. I think it's a good moisture barrier. Uh, sort of even serves as a little bit of insulation and keeps uh, you know, the compartments from rusting over time. Um, next compartment is uh, pretty big for just storage and also has the pass-through. As you can see down there, it uh, kind of goes up under the frame rail and allows you to put lawn chairs, tables, you know, stuff that are over maybe three foot of length uh, would go in that compartment. Something I noticed too on the newer Renegades, the steps are wider. Uh, used to, it was, I think, 24 inches wide, and these are probably closer to 30, 32. I know, not a huge deal, but it does make a difference uh, walking in and out of the coach. Uh, next one down here is going to be under our outdoor entertainment. As you can see there, the next storage compartment down, uh, it's got our central vac bag and accessories. And you can also see those white uh, connect or those white outlets up there. This coach has already been prepped for an outdoor cooler slash freezer. So we do keep the sliding trays in stock and I've got the uh, Dometic outdoor coolers in stock as well. If you wanted that, uh, that is one option that it was prepped for, but it's not on it. So I do keep those and we would be more than glad to install one. As you can see there on the bottom right, it also has the factory um, spare tile, which is so nice. And, and why someone would keep that if they sold the coach, I have no clue because it matches what's in the coach. So anyways, we got it with this one and that's good. Uh, this has the Aquahot 450D, so this is an all-electric coach. There's no propane on board, uh, so it heats off of electricity or diesel fuel. So super nice stuff there with Aquahot. And the next one over, you have four of the big 8D sealed AGM batteries. So you take those big guys with your two 3,000 watt inverters and your solar charging system, and you can literally boondock or dry camp or whatever for days with this thing. Um, something you'll notice right now, I've got the generator off. However, the middle roof air is on. So going down the road without running the generator, you can run the middle roof air conditioner and that's due to that dual inverter setup. So one of the inverters uh, is dedicated to running that middle roof air without the generator running. And that's why you see, you know, a lot of newer coaches with super low time on the generator um, the reason for that is uh, with that inverter system, you know, typically the reason for running a generator going down the road is to A, um, run your AC. Well, with this one, you can run the middle AC, uh, which is uh, duct, the ductwork runs through the coach. So you can keep the coach. I'm not saying it's going to 
keep it at 65 degrees in there, but it'll keep it, you know, in the low 70s uh, without having uh, the generator on. So that's a little overview of the exterior. I mentioned the outdoor entertainment, Samsung sound bar and, uh, and TV there. I think it's a 43 inch TV, all flush mounted in that compartment there on the outside. So we'll take a spin through the inside and uh, get this one wrapped up for you. All right, and uh, I forgot to mention, it does have the um, keyless entry with the key fobs for the car, uh, cargo compartments and the door. Uh, all Actually, it has key fobs for the cab and for the uh, Renegade uh, part back here. So all electric locks, very nice options. Um, going up here, we'll start out in the cab. Um, you got dual air ride captain and passenger seats. Uh, they are heated and cooled, which you rarely see. You see some heated, but you rarely see the cooled option. So two air ride seats. Uh, you can see your Voyager camera display there on top. Um, your dash, it, it does have the smart steering wheel. You can see with a lot of controls, which keeps you from, um, you know, reaching off the steering wheel and trying to push buttons over on the dash. Uh, this coach is equipped with uh, Tom Tom. Haven't heard of that name in a while, probably. TomTom uh, -tom navigation on board, but again, both air ride uh, and uh, both seats are heated and cooled. So we'll spin around. This coach is, I'm going to say, more or less set up for a couple. I mean, there is enough room up here to put a nice air mattress out. Uh, if you had a, you know, friend, grandkid, uh, whoever going with you, uh, there's room, plenty of room on the floor. But um, and then this guy also turns into a little jackknife sofa. I'll see if I can do it without moving the phone too much here, but there you go. Okay, so, I mean, an adult could kind of scrunch up and sleep there or um, a, a kid probably no problem at all. So that does turn into a jackknife sofa. But back over here, uh, the powered theater seating with built-in massage and um, it's a vibration massage and then it also has a heat option. So dual power theater seats. Uh, then you have the table and chairs. Now, two of the chairs stay in the coach going down the road. The other two you can fold up and put down in one of the uh, compartments down below. But I wanted to leave them up here for the photos and the video. You can see all four chairs there. Um, this coach has lots of cabinets and it's got dual multiplex screens. So that screen uh, literally controls everything in the coach. A lot of different things you can do there. And then you also have another screen over here on this wall. So, and of course there are, there's other, you know, light switches all through it. I mean, you can see back here, there's, you know, where you can run the slides, turn the light master switches on and off. But um, these guys control so, so much. And then of course you probably know you can hit the, the gear, hit the mobile app, scan the QR code, download the, uh, the app there and run the whole coach from your phone. So. Uh, moving on down, this coach has the um, all-electric French door, Samsung fridge, just like a fridge you would see in your house. So we got uh, plenty of fridge space on the top, nice, clean, and cool. And then on the bottom, you've got the freezer uh, with your ice maker tray. So that is um, very nice there. Up here, we uh, talked about the little love seat. Uh, it's got storage drawer that does come out from underneath it. And then... Um, it uh, folds out into a little jackknife sofa, uh, 50 inch, one of the 4K HD TVs from Samsung that uh, that drops down. So you actually go over here and the word says TV lift. And as you can see, the TV is moving down. We'll raise him back up, but uh, you can run it up or down going down the road. Uh, moving on down, uh, two burner, true induction electric cooktop, Samsung convection microwave, I forget what the cubic feet is on this one, but this guy's big. I mean, it's uh, you can bake a cake or um, warm up a cheeseburger in it. It'll do either one. Uh, big uh, single basin stainless sink. Uh, very nice tiled backsplash. I like the finishes of this one. Um, most of the time, I'm a high gloss finish guy. I like the high gloss finish on the cabinets, but I'm kind of leaning on this one. I like this one too. As you can see, they're kind of more... Not a satin, but it's not a gloss, kind of something in the middle. Um, this one does have two ceiling fans. It's something you don't see in a lot of them, uh, but this one has one in the main living area and the bedroom. And again, like I said, loaded with cabinets. I mean, there are cabinets everywhere in this thing. Lots of storage options. Um, it was prepped for the washer and dryer. It does not have it, 
but I do have it in stock and would be more than glad to install it for you. So it is a bath and a half coach. Uh, we'll go to the half bath here first. A uh, little vanity sink area, overhead mirror and medicine cabinet. Um, how about the tiled backsplash behind the toilet? I like it. I like it. I like it. In fact, any uh, new Renegade builds uh, that we're a part of, we're going to make sure that that is, uh, is on the build sheet. I like that. It matches the floor. Um, you know, just makes it where you can sanitize, clean, very, very easy. Tecma electric flush macerator toilets in this coach, too. Um, it does have the wainscoting, as you can see, the wood that runs along the lower part of the wall. And then it's got a, um, that's like a foam back, more of like a, a woven fabric, though. I really like the, the finish there. Um, sliding pocket doors, you can see I just moved that one out of the way. Uh, big uh, Samsung TV again, DVD player. Uh, this coach is already prepped with InMotion satellite, so um, you can um, hook up your direct TV service and, and uh, do that. Um, does have a queen size bed, a queen um, 60 by 80. So, you know, a lot of the mattresses that they're putting in, they consider a king is a 66 by 80. So this one is six inches narrower than your, um, what they call a Olympic queen or RV king, which is the uh, quote unquote king version that Renegade uses. Now, here's an option. If you were like, hey, I don't want a queen, I'm used to a king. I can remove the nightstands and put a, a king in here. So um, just an option. But right now you have a really neat little nightstand with an electrical outlet. You see the remote sitting there, but we can remove that and put a king size in. I have full capabilities of doing that. Moving on to the master bath. Uh, of course, the whole coach is tiled front to back, including a tiled shower with sliding glass doors, has the teak seat in it. Um, stainless wand and controls there. Um, again, tile backsplash to match what was in the kitchen. Um, same way back here, and then look here. More tile behind the, the uh, toilet there. I'm a huge fan of that. I, again, I think it makes it easy to clean. It looks good, easy to sanitize. Um, overhead medicine cabinet with a uh, large mirror, and um, then the little sink vanity and more drawers, more cabinets. So, um, I believe we covered it. Uh, heated floors, that's something I haven't mentioned. Heated floors, dual zone, so you can adjust the front to the rear. Um, 15,000 BTU roof airs. There's three of those guys. So you can see one here. That's the one running right now without the generator. So I have cool air blowing out of this guy and no generator power. We're running off of batteries through the inverter. Um, yeah, dual, heated or dual zone heated floors, a lot of extra outlets. Um, I can send you the build sheet. So if you're interested in this coach, give us a call. Check out chasecoach.com for over 250 photos of it. And um, I believe that covers everything. So appreciate you watching today. I hope you're having a great day. Subscribe to our channel. Share with your buddies. Uh, if you're interested in this one, we do accept trades. Nationwide delivery is always an option, and we have some great financing options. So would love to earn your business. I appreciate you watching, and uh, until next time, have a good one.